For a while now, many Android phones have come with a feature called scrolling screenshot. With it, it takes a screenshot of a web page and then keeps scrolling until you've captured the entire page or as much as you want. This essentially enables you to screenshot an entire web page. And you can kind of do this on iPhone as well. You can take a screenshot of a full web page and then save it for offline viewing and editing. I'm Cam Bunton from Pocket Lint, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how it's done. If you do like it, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe and tap the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any more of our tips, tricks, videos and comparisons. So the first thing you need to do is open Safari and go to the web page that you want to take a screenshot of. Now take a screenshot in your usual way. For the most recent crop with Face ID sensors, you press the side button and volume up button together. If you have an older model with a home button, you need to press the side button with the home button. Now the screenshot you've taken appears in the little thumbnail at the bottom corner of the screen. Tap on it before it disappears. This bit's important because if you miss it and then try and open it from your photos after it's saved, it won't let you take the full page screenshot. Once you've tapped on that thumbnail in the corner, it'll take you to the markup screen. Here you can edit, crop, doodle on it or delete it. But at the top of the screen, you'll see two tabs, screen and full page. Tap on full page. You'll now see a scroll bar on the side that allows you to scroll through the preview of the entire web page. So if you want the entire thing, just hit done in the top corner and save PDF to files before choosing a location to save it to. If however you just want a section of the full page, you can tap the cropping icon in the toolbar. Now just select the part of the page that you would like to save. Then you hit done and save to files in the same way you would if you wanted the whole page. Now if you'd rather it saved as an image in your photos app instead of a PDF in files, there is a way around this. But the easiest method involves using a third party photo editing app like Pixelmator for instance. You can open the file, tap the share icon and choose to open the file in the photo editing app that supports PDFs. Now hit the share icon in this app and hit copy to photos and it'll save as an image in your photos library instead. So there you go, a cool little trick that'll enable you to screenshot entire web pages. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunsen on social media. If you wanna get in touch with me and ask me any questions, you can do, or you can use the comment section down below. If you did like this video, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe and tap the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any more. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.